Well, greetings, good folks of YouTube. I apologize for the late post today, but hey, it happens. Um, so, it was selected by our Patreon supporters. We had a tie on Facebook, and this vacuum of the month was actually selected by the Patreon supporters, and I thank everybody who supports us on Patreon. There's a card right there you can go follow and see what Patreon's all about. Um, but on to the vacuum of the month. So, I had posted a poll, like I said, and what won was the, uh, the Visselvec uh, EBK360. So, we're going to do some pickup tests and a little bit of cleaning in this room with the EBK360. Um, and then we are going to uh, just answer a few YouTube comments because I love reading comments and I love it when you guys make comments, so definitely comment below. So, on to the pickup tests. Well, if you're unfamiliar with our pickup test, I want to show you what's here, and I've zoomed the camera way in, but you can see that there's animal hair, cat litter, a little bit of flour, and of course some breakfast cereal. So now we're going to go ahead and turn the vacuum on and see what that picks up, and I'll give you guys that nice close-up view again. does look like it did a good job. Let's take a look and see what's here. <laughs> uh, one piece of cat litter off to the side. Um, so, again, I've already done videos. And I'll put a, a card on that here on this EBK uh, 360 if you're unfamiliar with this fine piece of German engineering. Um, but it, it really does well. Yeah, nothing really stuck in the roller either. Uh, it, it's just a wonderful piece of equipment. and You know, there are a lot of different power heads out there, but this power head for the price is just phenomenal. And this is a reason why. Now, when we compare this to the stock power head, we're just going to go ahead and bring that in, in here as well. I do want to mention, now of course I do have a camera, on here as well so when we look look here you know keep that in mind the camera is here uh, but even though this one maneuvers and does get you know relatively low you can see that the original nozzle gets slightly lower so that's something um, again just to keep in mind uh, if you did want to do this to your machine I think the benefits outweigh the cons, unless you're getting really low, really often. I can't see a reason why you wouldn't do this if this was your only machine, or heck, if even if you're like me and I just don't want to put a whole lot of wear on this. Now the way that this is set up, we have this plugged directly in, and then this is the stub tube. So this little stub tube is the miracle that makes this happen. That goes from the TriStar fitting to the Eureka fitting, which is also the standard central vac fitting. So that makes this happen and this possible. So let's go ahead and vacuum the rest of the room with it.
As I've discussed, if nozzles are not round, they often do not pick up like they should. So, you can hear some of that cat litter got stuck in the nozzle. Now the thing... I have to say, I think I'm going to look forward to using this combo uh, this month. You know, I've had some really wonky ones in the past. I think this is actually one of the better ones I've had, even though it's kind of a custom setup, if you would, uh, so to speak. Now, the other thing I want to show you all is how uh, intense the bag is right now. So I have vacuumed the house uh, for another video already, and I just wanted to show you the bag. So the bag is already the bag is already getting there. There's definitely room in there, but it's definitely we're not gonna be starting with an empty bag, but again, I vacuumed the house for the other video, so it's only one use on there. Um, so it's definitely review time of the working water lift. Now that I've been using it for a little bit, um, somebody commented, uh, actually on Vacuumland, this one comes from Vacuumland, about this HEPA filter and how much it restricts it. So I wanted to talk about that, uh, and I wanted to also show you what kind of suction loss this has gotten after I've started using it because it's actually a lot greater than I expected. So we're going to work in water lift. Give you an idea where we're at today. So it's gone down quite a bit. Now, what we're going to do, and there's with the HEPA filter off.
So that is the difference between uh, the filters on and off. You can see that I removed them while it was running. I will say it is quite a bit. So I'm going to be experimenting with changing this filter out. And when I do that update, I'm sure the uh, Patreon supporters will get to see that one. So that is that. Now, I wanted to talk to you about some comments that I got. So, uh, the first one is on my Watermatic 3 video, saying that he bought it for $5 because somebody couldn't find the filters. Um, well, if you can't find the filters for your vacuum, go to your local vacuum shop. If you can't find them there, call your other vacuum shops in town if they don't have it. Take a look in Google. There's always, you know, some vacuum forms and such. Um, the next comment was by a YX Filter, and he was, I don't care about 4K. So I wanted to address that because that's something I think a lot of people don't understand. Um, so YouTube's algorithm, uh, quality of video goes into it. So a higher frame rate will actually get you slightly better ranking. Um, and one of those things is because 1080p is being phased out and 4K is the new standard, though 8K cameras are available for sale, so who knows how long that will last. The point is that 4K uh, is going to need to happen, especially considering about 40% of devices right now are 4K, including my cell phone. So especially when we're doing detailed repairs, it will it'll be nice to see. I don't think we'll need an 8K camera anytime soon, but a 4K camera will give you just that little bit of extra uh, detail on some of these parts that we're doing the videos. So that's that's why we're going to have to switch to 4K uh, soon. Now my cell phone does 4K, but I don't think you guys would appreciate a shaky cell phone video. Which, by the way, if you are a YouTuber and you're making shaky cell phone videos, it's okay to move the tripod occasionally, but please stop. Get yourself a tripod, even if you just have a phone. They make a tripod mount on eBay for like five bucks for your phone. Go buy that. So, that's that. The next thing I just want to mention is that you will see some different posting times, but the days will remain the same. Just kind of a little experiment we're doing. I'm going to go back to a regular like 9 a.m. Wednesday morning posting time, most likely. There might, I might actually go to a noon on Wednesday posting time. So definitely comment below about that. I wanted to mention that I did a unboxing just on the Costco model of Blendtec, so go check that out. I'll put a link there for that. Um, a, another one is on a much older video I did on the D-Bot D35. Uh, one of the worst facts out there rammed one of my end stands so hard it knocked a Google one off. I don't know what that means, but okay, Matthew. Uh, this next one was great, and it was a it was on my Tacony censorship video, and he was asking about he has a Recar Vibrance R twenty UP, which is I think one of the best machines Tacony makes, and he was asking about um, you know whether or not he should upgrade to a Radiance. Uh, or another tandem air machine, and he was mentioning that the dealer was going to charge him $1,600. So my first thing is, uh, shop your dealers, because I think over a 1000 for... Now, if it's a premium radiance, it's going to be over a 1000 but you can get the entry-level radiance for about a 1000 uh, That could change at any time, so don't quote me, you know, five years into the future when inflation is double. Uh, but that I think you should be able to get a better deal on that. Um, that... That being said, you know the radiance is a, is a, is grown and it's it cleans it cleans really really well. Uh, but just understand that it's going to be double the maintenance cost probably of any other vacuum you've had, uh, and you're going to want to keep your old recar because that eventually it's going to go down and you'll need dealer support. So that's that's my answer to Steve on that. Oh, he also mentioned the Puma canister. Uh, and I, I say, get if you're going to get the Puma canister, get it with out the tandem air power head, get it with the regular power head, it will be way more reliable. Um, let's go to a next one. I'm just scrolling down real quick. 
Jonathan, I want to just thank you for commenting so much on my videos lately. Uh, I can't even read all your comments because I have pages of comments from Jonathan. Uh, so we're not going to uh, read any of those right now. And Craig L, as always, you comment a lot too, so thank you so much. Um, again, a little bit too much to read unless I make my own video for you. Uh, the next one is, I've gotten a lot of questions about Prolux if they're made by Tacconi, and they're not. Um, the Tacconi product is definitely above the Prolux product. The Prolux product is kind of, if you are a dealer who didn't qualify for Tacconi, then that's what you get from ESCO. So I would I would steer away from those machines. I would just go with the real, uh, real deal on that one. Um, and I think this is probably one of my favorite comments. It was on the... Uh, Eureka Beam Electrolux Q100 Powerhead, and it says the best way to fix the problem was with the baseball bat. And I, of course, said as long as Ice Cube is playing in the background. If you've seen Office Space, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen Office Space, you're going to be real confused about that. Um, next question uh, I had was another person asking about the Simplicity Synergy S40. Would I recommend it? Uh, and they were going from a Dyson ball. And I, going to that other comment, you know, I really would recommend the higher-end S20 bef or R20 before I would recommend uh, the Tandem Air machines. They're not, you know, they're really well-cleaning machines. Just if you do have one, just have a backup vacuum with those Tandem Air machines. Uh, you know, as long as they, there's a dirty air motor involved in a vacuum, you should have a backup vacuum. You know, if it's a... Did they come out with a uh, dual motor clean air machine? Sounds a lot more reliable, but, you know, nobody's done that yet because, you know, electricity restrictions. So my recommendation was an S20 uh, Premium or the Cebo X4. I think the Cebo X4 is maybe the most underrated uh, vacuum that you hear about. Lindhouse is also very, very good in terms of underrated. Uh, and we're going to look... Oh! I did a video on five best vacuums uh, for Black Friday, and for a while you were seeing Hoover Insights for 150 bucks, and they were a steal. Well, now they're back up to the normal price of 450. So if you missed that deal, I missed that deal personally. I'm a little sad about that, but just just a, a update on that because sometimes I am wrong. Oh, the next one is by Will Smith, who's another uh, regular commenter. And he says, if I would not buy a Ninja Blender or any other Ninja because they're owned by Europro, the same company owns Sharp. Of course I would not buy anything from Europro. Any other company is better than Europro Shark. And you, there's a great video on the Ninja Blender by this dude. And he, he breaks it down better than I could ever do that. Uh, but we're sticking with... Uh, vacuum reviews mostly here. Um, another question is, can you add a HEPA filter to a Mila Mavic? And that that is an important question because, yes, you can, um, but you're better off going to the store at that point and getting one with a HEPA filter. You're going to save a little money and get a headlight. But you can add a HEPA filter to just about any modern Mila made in the past 10 years or so. Um, there are some at the, you know, when we go about 20 years back and 30 years back that you can add HEPA filters to, but most new Milos you can. And when in doubt, ask your dealer. Um, let's see. Just, ah, this one from Rick Hoover. Rick, thank you for commenting. You're one of my favorite commenters. Uh, and he says, I smoke, you can breathe this. He got my joke that I was putting down about, again, the Blendtec video. Um, and he, he also mentioned that the older oisterizers, I always say that wrong, and you guys are going to correct me in the comments, uh, from the 40s are better than the ones from the 90s. And I would agree 110% about that. Um, even the ones from the 80s, I think, were better. Um, And the next one is from Leonard. Leonard, I haven't seen you comment in a while, so thank you. I And this is when I on the vacuum of the month where I use the Kirby. And what he says 
it all comes down to personal choice. I have used Kirby's a good portion of my life. My experience is it keeps all the dust down quite and helps with allergies. I don't have complaints about this machine myself. And he, he is right. There are definitely worse machines out there than a Kirby. Um, but it just doesn't do a lot of modern things. And I have had the privilege of playing with just about every vacuum out there. So, you know, I will say that spoiled me a bit. It's like if you got to drive the entire Porsche Mercedes BMW lineup and then you had to go back to driving your Toyota or your Honda. It, it's going to be a little different. Minus a few little cars in between. The NSX, Supra, MR2, that sort of thing. Um, so that is... Oh, you know what? There's one more I want to do. Uh, what are my thoughts on wooden brush rollers? I think wooden brush rollers are an excellent alternative to injection molded brush rollers. Again, I prefer the injection molded kind like this to just about anything out there because it's a able to be molded perfectly. They use generally don't need balancing screws, um, which helps their bearings last a little longer. The downside is the brush strips aren't replaceable, but usually these are inexpensive enough that that's not an issue. I think a lot of people don't realize over the years when they've been replacing their metal brush strips that they have actually been charged quite a bit of labor uh, from the vac shop. Um, so that is all I have today for the channel update and the announcement of the vacuum of the month which I am excited about. Definitely comment on this video, give this video a thumbs up, and please consider becoming a Patreon. Now we are going to be doing something kind of special coming up. I'm going to just make this announcement. We are going to the VDTA, the Vacuum Dealer Trade Association, and I'll be doing some videos there, some live feeds, etc. So you'll get to see some cool stuff there. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for that. As always, stay awesome.